Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tip. In this video, we'll learn how we can compare two files side by side using plugin in Notepad++. Now, as you are doing a development in different programming language, you may come across a time where you would like to compare two files to find out what are the differences between the, them. Or you have uh, made changes to your uh, Git repository and you would like to see what are the differences or you have a colleague who sent you a file uh, and you would like to see what changes did he make. All right, in all these situations, uh, comparing two files can be handy. Now we can easily do that in Notepad++ using a compare plugin. So I'm assuming that you already have Notepad++, installing a compare plugin is very easy. So first of all, let's install our compare plugin. Go to plugins and go to plugins main uh, admin. If you don't have this option, then make sure that you use the, the latest Notepad++. It's been there for a while, but just in case, if you don't see, make sure you update, right? So let's go to plugins, plugins admin, and you can search for compare. And here you can see, I just found a plugin called compare. So let's select that. And you can even see that it, uh, basically it shows the difference between two files. And if you would like to learn more about it, you can always go to this home page on GitHub and learn more about it. And so I'm going to install that. So I'm going to click install and it'll ask me to restart. So let's go ahead and do that. Right. Okay. So now I have installed compare plugin. So you can find the plugin right here, go to plugins and go to compare and you can see all different options here. We will try to go through each of them as uh, in a little bit. And so let's first try to use this plugin to compare two files. So let me open uh, two set of files. And so let's take for example, this Java file. Uh, I have two files that are fairly similar and I have intentionally made some changes between the two uh, just to see how this compare will work. Okay, so in order to compare two files, you make sure that they are side by side or at least in tabs, they are right next to each other. And just go to compare a plugin, click compare, and then just click compare. All right, and as you can see, it actually is able to uh, show the difference between the two. Now it is not showing a bar here, which it should. So let's click quickly check that. Okay, so the reason why it's not showing this bar or a navigation bar is because of this button. So let's click on that. And now you can see that it actually shows where the differences are. And so the very first one is right here. You can see that there is a different a name of my function. If I go to the next one, it should allow me to, yeah. So you can see as I move up and down, you can see that there's a, this line that is moving. So the first one was this difference. And if I go scroll down, this is my next difference where uh, this integer j is actually k in the other one. If I scroll down, actually you can even go up and down using these arrows. So let's go to the next and then next and then next. Uh, so here I have these dot instead of just uh, empty uh, double quote. If I go next, now it's right here where again the name of the function is different. Uh, it's kind of a little bigger. So let me make it a little smaller. So as you can see that it, it gives you a good comparison between the two you can see the difference between the two files uh, and so on. So even these icons, you can tell that what are the, so when it says it's not equal to, that means that the line here and this line is not the same. When you see a plus, that means that there is this empty extra line here while there is nothing here. And so uh, that's how you compare two files. And so if you want to clear this comparison, you go, can go to plugins, compare, and clear active compare, right? So it goes back to how it was. Let's take another example. So this time I have two HTML files, which are fairly similar to each other. 
so this one um, and there was another one yeah, this one all right so again I have this example dot HTML and example two dot HTML those are fairly close to each other but there is some difference between the two so so far we put those two right next to each other in the tab but you can even uh, just show this in a different view so if you right click on this and move to other view now you have two views one is on the left and right and you would like to do a comparison and so again go to plugins compare and compare and now you can see there are difference between the two again if you want to go up and down you can just use these if you click this arrow that goes to first or last so we want to go to the next one so let's go next and you can see that there is this brand is missing uh, in this line and then if I go to the next one there is this additional line here uh, and as you can see this plus will give you that so there is an addition of an author here which is not there on the left hand side and so on so if I go down again there are a number of new lines here which were not in the other one so this gives you a pretty good idea of what are the differences between these two files now one thing to note is if you don't clear this comparison uh, and you will see what will happen for example let's say I'm done with comparing these two files and so I go ahead and close this and see it is still there so you, we do need to clear uh, the comparison and in order to do that you have to go to plugins compare and you can say clear active compare or clear all of them okay and it goes back to the way it was all right now let's go back to plugins settings so go to plugins compare and let's go to settings and so it gives you a number of options uh, the first one is which one should it show first and so by by the metadata or the file that was modified the before and after it can also set uh, your comparison in that way and so it's either which one do you want to show first or on the left like whether it's an old file or a new file you can do that again there is an option to set the position you can do left and right or you can even do uh, top and bottom uh, which I don't think it's very good way to compare but maybe there may, may be a reason for that and then also you have option to change these color settings as you saw that there were different colors that were showing up and so you can add it those uh, even the transparency and so on so it gives a, a pretty decent amount of uh, setting options uh, to check all right let's go back to plugins compare now one thing you will notice it, it also allows you to do a git uh, diff or svn diff and so those are the different versioning system and so if you have a git repository and if you make some changes then you can even do git diff on it and so let's try that I have uh, let's say this is I know that this is my uh, git hub repository uh, and I would like to make some changes and see if I can see the difference between these two so let's go ahead and make some changes so I'll remove some text and then I'll just uh, add some some uh, new new tags right and I'm going to save and let's go ahead and see if git diff is able to pick it up using compare plugin so go back to plugins compare and git diff and as you can see that it was able to compare with your git repository to find what are the changes and so you can see that we just removed some text right just about a minute ago and then we also added some new lines here and then we also added a new text and so even though there are no two files to compare it is able to compare the git repository for the the original file without any commits and uh, you can see that so again go to plugins go to compare and let's clear these out okay and so we just learned number of ways to compare the files we saw how to do side by side views how you can compare them using a compare plugin we also saw how to change the settings uh, in these 
and then if you have a git or even svn repository i didn't show any example of that but it will work exactly the same if you have any of these repository if you make changes uh, and if you would like to see what are the differences or what did you change then you can even use git git diff or svn diff for that and then we also saw that you can use these icons up and down or navigation bars to to navigate through the comparison and so i hope you learned something new today uh, it's a pretty powerful and a quick way to learn uh, use this compare plugin to quickly che check the difference if you are doing a more thorough sort of comparison between the files i would suggest that you would use winmerge which is a uh, a specialized uh, software especially for comparing two files but if you would like to have a quick comparison then and you don't want to leave notepad plus plus you can easily just do it right from notepad plus plus so i hope you like this video if you did please click on the like button and make sure you that you subscribe to my channel i post new videos about programming and uh, notepad plus plus and many other uh, tips and tricks and so i hope you uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching this video. All right. Bye-bye.